the indication of a tavern is expanding into a younger and a lower risk population. Therefore, we will encounter the tavern for biker speed aortic stenosis more frequently. However, biker speed aortic stenosis uh, has been excluded from major randomized trials. Uh, due to the fewer comorbidities and younger age in biker speed aortic stenosis population, uh, it is possible that the outcomes of tavern for biker speed aortic stenosis could differ from those of triker speed aortic stenosis. However, there is a limited data comparing biker speed and triker speed aortic stenosis. So, therefore, we aim to evaluate the outcomes for the tavern uh, for biker speed and compare them to those of triker speed aortic stenosis. Uh, the patient with, uh, with a symptomatic severe aortic stenosis undergoing transcatheter out re replacement and diagnosed for bicuspid aortic stenosis. And the patient were uh, enrolled the, from March Center, International March Center Registry, 33 centers. Okay, for this study, the, the bound expandable valves the, which means the, including Sapien XT and Sapien 3, and also self expanding valve, the, the, pro, the old version, the core valve, and the new generation, Evolved Out, and also finally the mechanical expanding Lotus valve, the, those five valves. Among patients receiving the early generation devices, the, including the Sapien XT and core valve, those devices are not used in anymore. But among patients receiving the early generation devices, the device success rate was lower and uh, the bicuspid aortic stenosis had a the more frequent aortic root injury. This is a really catastrophic outcomes in bicuspid compared to tricuspid. And also patient bicuspid aortic stenosis had more frequently, uh, more frequent parabola leakage compared to tricuspid aortic stenosis. However, the, among patients receiving the new generation devices, including Sapien 3, Ebert R, and Lortus, uh, there are no significant differences in procedural outcomes between bicuspid and tricuspid aortic stenosis. And finally, the mo most important thing is the two years all-cause mortality rates were similar between bicuspid and tricuspid aortic stenosis. Tavar for bicuspid aortic stenosis uh, is considered as a relatively contraindication according to the current guidelines. And uh, the, the outcomes with uh, old generation devices is far from the accept, the far from the optimal results. But now, the, using the new generation devices, the tower for bicuspid aortic stenosis uh, is very acceptable. So we can treat the patient with bicuspid aortic stenosis safely. But we have to pay attention to their the unique morphology. So we have to, of course, we have to analyze the anatomy, including the aortic annulus, retroventricular tract, and the leaflet, so, and the rafe. So all, we have to take, take it into consideration all of these factors and uh, select the device collectively. Correctly. Although we, we uh, get to know the two-year two mortality and the procedural outcomes, However, when we consider the expanding indication of TAVR into younger populations, uh, their life expectancy is uh, more than 10 years. So we need a uh, durability data. We, even, we don't know the long, long durability data for general population, but also we, we need a long durability data for patients with bicuspid aortic stenosis. So we need a further evaluation of the long-term durability.